Hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. I'm uh, doing finishing some pens right now, and I just power washed my cup that we did the other day with the ink. Um, I did a tattoo on it, which I didn't do on camera, but a rose tattoo. And then I filled in the roses with some um, alcohol ink. And you can barely tell, but there's some glitter in the roses. They kind of sparkle. And then on this side, there is a butterfly with some purplish pink. They kind of two-toned um, roses. So I did the power wash over. Um, you can see right there. You can see the ink underneath it barely. But then there's like a power wash, like a, a light bluish teal over it. So I'm going to clean that up. Hi, Miss Heidi. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. And then I will put that under epoxy, but I have to dry it off first. So there's some spots that I want to clean up. I just take some, um, some acetone and just clean up like right here on the butterfly you see there's still some spots and stuff on there I want to clean that up so I just take some acetone on a paper towel and I'm just gonna wipe that off because I I had already um, did this under epoxy so I can just brush that off like that so it kind of smears it away we don't want any of that white paint well, light blue, it's like a really, it's a mint color, I guess. It's not even light blue, it's mint. Let me take that off of those flowers where it's oversprayed. So those flowers will be nice and fresh. Like that. The butterfly showing. Nice and good. What are you doing today, Miss Heidi? Is it snowing there? <laughs> Hope not. It's like 80 here. 80 and raining, of course. Can't leave out that rain. So now they're nice and clean. I turn that around. You can see that they're all clean. And you have that teal and green underneath that mint color. This is a 35 skinny. Um, I do believe it's a duo. So it comes like with a sport bottle lid or a straw lid. So it comes with two lids. I'm going to clean off this other side here sure it's nice and bright too. Clean up a little bit of that overspray, that's all. I just wanted to come on and, because I know I um, said the other day that I would show you what we we're going to do with it, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it at first, and then I found these pretty tattoos that I had. It's like a temporary tattoo, and I put it on the cup, and and then it, I, like I said, I alcohol inked the flowers in, colored. And here's that one. But you can see that you can see like the bubbles are where you can see the ink underneath. It's kind of like, um, they call it, um, power washing because I use the Dawn power wash dish soap and you spray it wherever you don't want the um, paint to stick and then you um, spray paint over it and then rinse it off and then you end up with this pretty bubbly look and I'm just taking some of this overspray off the bigger spots so you can see the 
alcohol ink underneath it more. So like the spot here, clean that up a little bit so it's not almost like a geo, you know, open it up a little bit, clean it up so you can see what's underneath. I think I want to use Q-tips. I have to get me some more Q-tips down here. I'm almost out. On these smaller holes. Thanks, Lynetta. I like the butterfly too. So like these spots right here, I'm just going to clean these up because there's like little trails. Take that paint off those trails just so they show a little bit more. And then I'll go back with alcohol and rub on them to um, clean up the edges. Just so you can see more of the alcohol underneath it. Yep, just clean those little spots up just a little bit. Bring in just a tone or two of the color underneath. You want to take it all off because then it will look like you sat here forever just making little dots. <laughs> just enough to open up the splatter a little bit. The good thing is if you don't like it, you can always power wash over it again. So that always makes it nice. I didn't tell anybody I was coming on. It's just kind of a, a jump, a jump and came on type thing. I was down here just for a few minutes and figured I would just jump on and Clean those up a little bit here and there, just so, like I said, so some of the color underneath can shine through just a little bit. I'm pretty much just doing the bigger ones. Q-tip here. And just clean them up. Like I said, just so that color can pop underneath. See how this is all faded right here. And I'll go through and just kind of make little circles around it and push the paint away. Too much paint on my Q-tip again. Sorry, I guess I have to bring this up. I didn't set up my tripod or anything. I just kind of put my phone on a holder and went at it. I have an appointment at 2 o'clock, so I can't stay too long. But just long enough to show you kind of what I'm doing. I'm thinking about maybe putting a little glitter over it. Um, just so it has some shimmer. Not a lot, but just enough to give it more shimmer than just the flowers, I think. Alright, I'm going to get another paper towel. 
towel. That in my holder. Now I'm going to spray alcohol on this one and try to go in and just clean up the overspray. The smear spots, basically. Just rubbing out the smear spots on the, where I smeared it a little bit. All you have to do is just wipe it. Kind of give it a little elbow grease, but not a lot, but enough to um, take that over. See how that's all smudgy right there? I don't know if you can tell. Let's bring it in a little bit closer here. Like right here. Just want to take that off just a little bit. Just where it's smudgy. A little smudgy there. Kind of basically buffing up the edges a little bit. Taking off the cloudiness. See that part right there? I took the paint off right here. So now I'm just gonna rub it with the alcohol. This is this is 99% alcohol. A lot of people use the 91%, but um, during the pandemic, I had a hard time finding it, but I found 99%. So yeah, you know, works just as good. So I'm just going to go around and touch these smudgy spots up now, so it's nice and clean. I want my flowers and the edges all to be nice and clean. I don't want any smudgy spots. hard sometimes because I have that light teal underneath and then I have the light teal paint so it's gotta make sure I'm rubbing on the right stuff <laughs> All right. so again this was a power wash over that alcohol ink um, we did the other day I um, like I said this is a tattoo this is a temporary tattoo from Amazon um, it was black and white. I didn't like it just, or not black and white, just black. And then I didn't like the green showing through the flowers. So I decided to go in and um, take some alcohol ink, some purple and pink, and blend it in to make it like a deep purple color. Highlighted the black lines and um, freshen that up a little bit so it stands out a little bit more. Same thing with the other side with the roses and the butterfly on it. So this is just a cup I was making. So it is up for grabs. It is a 35 ounce um, tumbler duo. So it has a sport lid with the flip sippy sport lid top. And it has a top, a screw top for like if you want to use a straw with it. So I'm thinking, like I said, I'm thinking about glittering the whole thing. Just a very light glitter, just so it has just a little bit of a shimmer to it. Just a tint, not a lot. So that is what I'll be doing next, is um, epoxying it. And then if anybody is interested, then just shoot me a message, and I can put a name on it anywhere as you'd like. If not... I will put it in my box to sell in a show. But there it is. So I can put someone's name right down here. Should be really nice for a memorial for a mom or something if you have a mom's name or something like that on it. And then the butterfly with the dark purple. 35 ounce duo tumbler. So, okay, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and epoxy it and I will see you all later. Have a blessed day.